Hi everyone. So we are getting ready for the gift giving season and I like to do a lot of homemade bath salts, um, scrubs, bath soaks, sugar scrubs. Um, it's really simple and easy to do a lot of these homemade things. I got into doing this because for my own health I started realizing how much I was putting on my body and reading the chemicals and preservatives that were in these body scrubs. Not to mention I was going to places like Bath and Body Works and I would go in when there was like um, a buy three get one free deal and just for like my stepmom and my niece I would walk out for $50 um, not having completed my shopping still needing to buy for my daughter and my mother and my mother-in-law um, you know if you have aunts sister-in-laws this is a nice little thing to do and you can make up a gift basket for them really simply just from ingredients from your kitchen so first we're gonna start um, I have picked up a body poof you can pick these up at the dollar store um, these are anywhere between a dollar and a two dollar um, price range at my supermarket so a lot of times you can pick them up this time of year for buy one get one free I always um, replace the entire families and this is one of the stocking stuffers that we have um, toothbrushes are another thing that we do so you could do a nice little gift basket just starting with one of these and some simple body scrubs so first we're gonna start with a simple sugar scrub first ingredient coconut oil you can pick this up in your supermarket um, a lot of times you can find it in health food stores this is a organic coconut oil that we picked it up and this is solid um, at like 70 degrees I believe it was 74 degrees so um, we're gonna work on getting this open uh, I can also use olive oil you can use uh, almond oil in this recipe so uh, first we are just starting with Okay, so for this recipe, first we are starting with the coconut oil and regular refined white sugar. You can do this as cheap as you want or as expensive as you want. You can use brown sugar. I actually learned a long time ago when I had run out of white sugar for a recipe, brown sugar is your regular white refined sugar and molasses mixed together. So you can do either. Um, you can use essential oils. I've got peppermint and I've got lavender depending on the person that you're making it for. Rose oil or orange is really nice to use. So we are going to start with a half a cup of um, coconut oil and you can just scoop this right out. And I'm actually doubling my recipe because I have some wonderful old mason jars and you can also get these in a replica um, to use as your gift jars also real handy this time of year like my local recycle center leaves all the jars um, in a great big gondola and they don't mind you taking some for your own recycling so if you can find some with the lids on them that's real handy to have this is one that was gifted to me with homemade jam in it and I'm going to reuse it for one of my salt scrubs. So this was a jelly jar. It says EPC on it. So just a real neat little square jar. Um, you can buy apothecary jars online and sometimes you can find them um, in different little pharmacies. This one says mom's mason jar and it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to put my own in here for me. And it's just a standard mason jar lid. Uh, you can fill these with a funnel um, or a small spoon. Like this one has a smaller lid. Um, but these lug lids are real nice for in the bathroom because then you don't have the two-piece lid. You can also get white plastic lids for the tops of these um, from Ball if it's a standard mason jar and they have them in regular mouth or wide mouth. Okay so I've got my coconut oil and you can melt this in the microwave a little bit but it's just going to re-solidify re so you can use a pastry blender, you can use a fork. I'm just using my rubber, rubber spatula because that real easy breaks up the clumps. So, I'm doubling my recipe. 
So I need one cup of sugar. And I'm going to scent this with the lavender. So it only takes a couple of drops of lavender. Essential oil is concentrated. And I actually have two bottles here because I know one of my bottles is getting low. Okay. So I doubled my recipe. That was about five or six drops of lavender mixed together. Um, because these are ingredients that you're cooking with, it doesn't matter that you're using your kitchen utensils either. So I'm just mashing this together. Bethy's over to the side singing today, making mouth noises. And George is over here working on his measuring spoon. Little George likes to hang on to a tablespoon measuring spoon, and he likes to chew on it. Yeah. But right now he's got it backwards, so I'm going to help him out so he doesn't get the handle down in his throat. <laughs> So, just like that, my first one, just like that, my first one is all done, and I can put this into the jar. It's, it is real nice, and it is very moisturizing. Yes, you were. When I used to do manicures, we would have products sent to us in samples, and I had um, I had a sample of one sent to me that was a sea salt scrub, so you could do this with sea salts also. And all it was was sea salt and oil, and it was the greatest exfoliant for your fingers. So I am going to just fill this up. You can real simply add a couple of ribbons or some burlap to the top of the jar. I'll, I'll put the lid on. Mm -hmm. So I doubled my recipe on this one and it's about a pint sized jar. And I want to pack it in so there's not a lot of air space either. in sugar. Okay, put it on. Thank you, Bethy. That's for your sister. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, for my sister Julia. That's right. Thank you. So that is our first variation of our sugar scrub. to do a brown sugar body scrub and this is a pumpkin pie spice uh, cinnamon scrub. It is really great. You can use your apple pie seasoning or just cinnamon. So right now I've got, I'm doubling my recipe, so um, two cups of brown sugar and we're going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon. And you can do vanilla extract in this or not. It's up to you. I'm going to add it because it just makes it a little nicer. So just a little splash of that. And it's about a teaspoon per, per batch. So mine's doubled. And I am going to add... My coconut oil. <laughs> and it's similar to the first one. This is going to be a half a cup of coconut oil to your one cup of sugar. 
But for this recipe, I'm also going to add a little bit, and you can either add almond oil, you can use, uh, it's really nice to add a little bit of vitamin E oil also if you have it on hand, or jojoba oil. And I'm out. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to this one. So in this case, I'm doubling my recipe, so I'm using a half a cup of olive oil. And we are going to scent this with lavender as well. Just a drop, because we have the vanilla. And now I'm just combining all the ingredients. I found I have a lot of these really nice replica mason jars in different sizes and they make wonderful gifts. So like my neighbor who a lot of times will break, bring bread down for us, she loves to make and send down pumpkin bread for the kids. And that is one bread I have never made myself. So I'm making her a little gift basket. Um, she was raised a farm girl and she helps out her brother at his farm. Every single day, she's down there to cook his meals for him. They are both in their 70s, and they just farm every day. So this is a nice little something for her. She would not go to a place like Bath & Body Works to buy any kind of products. She is also a swimmer. She's very active with exercise. She goes for walks. She goes for bike rides every single day. I told her one day I wished I had the time and the freedom to just go off like she does. And it just amazes me. Like the beer cans on the road doesn't, do not bother her at all. She is not concerned about getting hit um, the way that I would be. She was raised in the neighborhood, so it's a little different. Okay, so this is nice and creamy. Oh, it smells wonderful. And you can also do this, instead of doing the sugars, you could do it with the sea salt. You could do it with the Himalayan salts. Oh, it feels so nice. Now, to use these, you just use about a tablespoon um, and rub it all over your body. Obviously, depending on how much you want to use. Um, and exfoliate, you may, you know, use a little bit more. But for the cost of the ingredients, it is nothing to just fill a few of these jars for some people and give them as gifts. Because for me to buy a basket and make up a basket for each of these people, I was easily spending about $50 a basket before I bought them anything else on their list. And... If you want to make it more consumer looking, you can buy these plastic lids that I talked about. These are from Ball, they're the plastic storage lids, and they fit right on top. I like the more rustic look myself. So we are going to use, this is a great way to reuse your canning lids because your canning lids are meant for one purpose. Uh, one use when you're cooking with them. So I save them. The little dents on them, I'm going to be covered with homemade stickers over the top or your name tag sticker. So that part really doesn't matter. Um, these don't need to be sealed. You can use a vacuum sealer to get any air out of them and have them have a longer life. So if you are interested in selling these at a roadside stand or a farmer's market, you can do that also. So isn't that just a nice little container? One for me. Sample size containers, baby food jars are really great for this. So 
that's our second yeah. recipe with the pumpkin pie spice sugar scrub. Okay, now we are here with our third recipe for our gift baskets, and this is a relaxing bath soap. And it is so simple. You may even have what you already need to make it. I have a five pound bag, or this is an eight pound bag of Epsom salts that I picked up. And the big bag like this, I was able to get at Walmart. And you can mix up as much of this as you like. I'm not even gonna bother to measure it. I just know I need enough to fill my three jars. Now the nice thing about this, Epsom salts help relax the muscles a lot. And they are really good for soaking injuries to help heal. I am scenting it with some lavender essential oil. You can use whatever you prefer. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of baking soda. And then you just mix them together with your bare hands. It's that easy. It looks really nice. You can add a little bit of food coloring to it if you like. That makes it look very nice. Oh, it smells so wonderful. And really, a little bit of essential oil goes a long ways with this. If we could just do YouTube and smelling, it would be great. And then I'm gonna just fill these up the same, right with my hands. All of this stuff is safe, it's non-toxic, you can do it with the kids. They're great to do um, with the kids for gifts for grandma. Um, in our case, the uh, in-laws can be hard to shop for. And my mother-in-law has a wonderful, great big tub. Um, she's got the big jacuzzi tub that's oval shaped and the kids love to take a bath at grandma's house. I had actually done this gift for them a couple of years ago and it was just really nice to um, come back and do that again for my dad because I have all the mason jars. I did like jelly and pickles and maple syrup for him, snack crackers, things that would feed him. So with the right ingredients on hand, you can make up these gift baskets so simple and for such savings. And as I said before, you can make a little side business out of it. Um, the only thing with that is that a lot of people um, realize that they can make this stuff on their own and it's the people shopping at the farmers markets that um, are feeling bitchy that day that want to buy it. And I always tap my jars to settle everything to the bottom. That way you are getting gifting full jars. So just make, make sure of that. And then these are all ready. And again, I'm reusing my old lids. So we're doing some repurposing at the same time. And then I'll just finish each one of these off with a nice ribbon. You could finish them off with an old doily or a handkerchief and make it just absolutely lovely. So I need to find another top for this one, but I'll show you my completed baskets here in a bit. Okay, so now as an added gift to our gift baskets, I decided to do a whipped body butter, which is always very nice. Body, body butters I know, became- I'm using some. Body butters became very popular several years ago and at 10 to $15 for like a little four ounce container, it really started to add up. Um, again, using oils, coconut oil, and moisturizing creams, you can do this really well. And by moisturizing creams, I mean you can use um, cocoa butter, you can use shea butter, um, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, 
and some people even like to add a little bit of beeswax and you can modify the recipe to basically equal parts um, coconut oil and cocoa butter and beeswax to make a nice lip balm but to make it a little bit thinner and creamier we're actually going to melt this um, using a double boiler method so we're just going to put baby down here and see if he'll be happy for a little bit so as you know i'm a busy mom and we have five kids in the house and everybody's just kind of busy doing different things nope. Nope, baby doesn't sleep. have his measuring spoon so he's got a little whimper what yes and then why are you putting me down? I just have to show you. He's the, he's the cutest little thing. Yeah. Hi there. Are you cooking too? Yes. So. Are you cooking too? So in the process of all this, I have been able to do up a batch of anything within five minutes, get it jarred, and be able to make lunch for the kids and get them fed. So now we're starting out with a half a cup of oil. And like I said, you can use the vitamin E oil or the jojoba oil. I'm just going to bring you down here so you can see just what I'm doing here. So now we've got the coconut oil. Would you like a napkin? Yes. Now we're going to do... It needs some water. Yep, this is a quarter cup size. It needs some hot water. Mm. To get the greasy stuff off. Soap, soap gets the greasy stuff off. You just use too much. Yeah. Now with this one, you don't want to add any essential oil until later. So first, um, because the heat would basically ruin the essential oil, um, I'm adding a little bit of shea butter. I had just a little container here. It's not enough for the ingredients for the recipe, so I am supplementing with the cocoa butter. So that's the shea butter. And for this you want um, about one cup total. And it doesn't always come out of the container really well, so we are going to use my knife to help get it out. So now this is all ready to be heated. You could heat this in the microwave. We're going to heat it on the stove using the double boiler method. You could put this in a mason jar right in here, and that's real handy. I find it washes out of the bowl pretty easily. And this will get hot, so you want to make sure that for the safety of everyone, that nobody is very close to the stove. Uh, so we're just going to let this melt down here for a minute. So I just wanted to show, for instance, this is a removable label, and these jars cost about a dollar a piece uh, if you were to have to buy them new. So you can save these jars for this project throughout the year, and just peel that label off and put your own label on it. Oh, that's what we're trying to do, honey. But I was going to use more. Yeah. Okay, so we're letting this dissolve. It's getting all melted down, and it is 
thoroughly melt it down when it is just kind of a cloudy uh, appearance and consistency. It, so as so as you know, I do a lot of work here on our farm, and this is really great for the dryness that I get in my hands. Um, even I find in this winter weather that my neck and around my eye area needs a little extra hydrating. So this is really, really nice to use for that. Um, so now when we have this all melted down, we're going to actually cool it in the refrigerator for an hour. And then we're going to put it through my electric mixer. And you can do it with a hand mixer or you can do it in your KitchenAid mixer, whichever you prefer. Yeah. So mixing this in the glass bowl this way works really nice because then I can just use my hand mixer on it without dirtying more dishes. And of all the recipes I've made, this is the slowest one just because it takes a little longer to melt everything. Um, I'll just show you the uh, cocoa butter is melting a little bit slower because I didn't cut it up into chunks. So we're almost there. So as soon as this is melted, we're going to cool it for one hour in the refrigerator and then we're going to come back and whip it. Okay, so we are thoroughly melted down now. I don't have any clumps left. And I'm going to let this cool on the countertop for a little bit before I stick it in the refrigerator because I don't want that drastic temperature change of the bowl to cause any cracks or breaks in that or in my refrigerator for safety. This is just the best, let it cool naturally and then refrigerate it. I also wanted to say, because you are doing this with oils, please use caution. Do not walk away from the stove for anything. Keep the kids occupied and away from the heat. Yes, we had Bethy and George over doing something a little bit different for a couple minutes in the play seat. And we're going to get little Bethy a snack while this is cooling. And then I am going to get on with some more of my chores and come back to it. Okay, so this bowl has sat in the refrigerator for a little over an hour now. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like before I mix it. So you can see it's just white looking. It's solid. It doesn't spill out of the bowl at all. And this is what it would look like if you were to put it in lip balm containers. Uh, it's really nice. The just temperature of your body dissolves it, warms it up enough to make it spreadable. And you can see here, I get these cracks on the corners of my fingers from working hard. And I wear gloves when I wash dishes and I wear gloves when I do my farm chores. But this works really good to slather this on your hands um, and your lips for the winter dryness. So I'm just going to use my regular old uh, hand mixer here. And this is just a uh, cheap one from Walmart that I got, Toastmaster brand, um, probably 15 years ago. So we're just going to mix this until it fluffs up. Okay, it's fluffing up nicely. I'm going to add my essential oils now. And sticking with the theme of all my other scents, I'm doing lavender. You could leave it unscented if you liked also. Okay, 
Now don't lick these beaters, Bethany, it's cream. So here you can see it's all whipped up. Put a little bit of air in it. So now I'm just gonna transfer it to my nice little container and then I'll have a match set. So can for like my daughter, in it? we are gonna use a little spatula, okay? Okay. We're gonna scoop it out with the spatula. Bethany has been doing her hair, doing pretty girl things. She's got a little bump on her nose. She has put putting pretty butterflies in her hair. That's right. And she's wrapped up in mom's shirt because it's pity. She's being a pretty girl. Well, yeah. So for my daughter Juliet, I've got mis mismatched containers because she likes that farmhouse thing. And she can use these to decorate um, throughout her house for various things. But this is the modern um, half pint mason jar. And it's really nice for jams and jellies, but it's really nice for these body scrubs because of the wide top. And then these are the vintage designs. Oh, we can make cheesecake after. That'd be really good because we're going to have a light dinner tonight. So we're just going to package this up. All right. Just cap that. And then the same thing, you just use a real light little bit of this all over your whole body to moisturize. It's really great um, for those elbows and knees and extra dry spots. Okay, so I have got my bath product baskets ready to gift. This one's going down to a neighbor, so I have to um, leave some space in. I am going to make them some snickerdoodles to pack in there with a little note. And this one I am packing up for my mother-in-law. So this one is for my daughter. And she is getting, I did uh, one of each of these for everybody. And these are the craft round labels from Avery that I use for my maple syrup and my honey. So I labeled which, which each one is for them. I gave her a canister of tea so that she can have a nice... Bethany did help me put the labels on, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so she has a notepad with a nice little note for mom in there. A wine voucher from NakedWines.com. And a canister of tea. I would like to find her a really pretty teacup. Yeah, that comes with a little crystal thing. She can keep that for a tree ornament for next year if she wants. Yeah. And then she'll remember this. Yeah. So, mom, she's a new mom, and this is a nice way for her to be told to relax and take a time out for herself. Um, as being a new mom myself, I generally end up in the bathtub with Bethany and the baby at the same time. Hi, that way everybody gets taken and care of. Yeah. And Do you cry in the bath? No. Our babies like our baths. Except and when I they get water in their eyes. That's, that's right. So thanks for watching our video on our homemade sugar scrub and body butter and bath salts. So put yourself together a nice little package. So I'm just going to get this finished wrapped and then I will... Of course, you can always use gift bags if you have those. Didn't want to run out to the store. We got 12. First, we got um, 8 inches of snow. And then the next day, uh, a couple days later, we got another 3 inches. So, no need to run out to the store for that. But if you have them on hand, definitely. Um, real nice to do in a gift bag. Uh -huh. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. And thanks for watching. And I then start to cry when I get in bath. Yeah. When I get soap in my eyes. But maybe you could use some of these nice bath scrubs and then you won't cry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, say bye everybody. Bye.